Good day everyone. I've been doing a bit of work recently on some LS1s and I had a, a bit of a spare standard loom left over. So I've done some recycling, it's in really, really good order. I couldn't waste it. So I've done some recycling and popped it together, built it into this braided loom to go with this G4 Storm I had. So I'm going to uh, go and pop it on an engine I've got sitting on the floor and see how quickly we can put it on the engine and make it run. There's a set of relays and fuses with the setup as well. That's already connected to permanent battery power and the starter motor on the looms already, on the engine's already done. Um, I'm actually gonna be running it on a Link Monsoon today. Uh, the only difference between the Monsoon and the Storm is the Monsoon can't do the four wire stepper. And I've had to bridge across power to the, to the cam and crank sensors. So I'm gonna set my timer see how long it takes to put this loom together and uh, make this motor run. Right, let's go. Now we're going to put the earth on first, single earth on the back of the engine. So there's the monsoon. We're not running the map sensor in the monsoon. Uh, that's we're using the standard uh, LS1 Commodore map sensor. That's the relays and fuses plugged in, and that's running down to a permanent battery power. I've got a fuel pump output, which is in that bucket over there. And we'll make this thing, uh, so that, that, that's the power supplies done, and the starter motor loom is, is set up. So the injector's down this side. Coil plug. I've put a fireproof up to uh, 600 degrees constant or 1000 degrees celsius covering down to the temp sensor so this is designed to go under the power steer reservoir but if you're putting this like in a boat then you're not going to have a power steer reservoir And I've put an air temp on it. I've used the factory Commodore air temp. We're not plugging the stepper in today just because of the different computer. So coming down the back, we've got the map sensor. The oil pressure sensor, so the computer was is me me measuring oil pressure. And that cam sensor, or you could call it a position sensor. Now I have put an extra wire in there for oil pressure if you want to put a T by the pressure sensor. Though you could run a, a Microtech dash or some other dash and it would communicate just fine. And give you oil pressure on that. Again, with the crank sensor, I've put a, an extra wire for if you want to put a, a different water temp sensor down at the back of this. There's a bow of the fitting in the back of the cylinder head. And fireproof covering going down to that crank sensor. Right, she's plugged in.
AOS one under four minutes and it runs. It's just on a bass tune. I haven't set up any tuning yet. Uh, that's gonna happen. The, the loom is separate. This motor is actually going for another job. But that's just a demonstration of how simple and easy these looms can be made. Hope that's helpful. Talk to you later.